victory will be ours! We have carried the day. It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Incredible! Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. <gasps> ah, indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> This... this is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... Oh, the skies! Can it really be...? Lord Robert! Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? No, he is still breathing. What? His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. 
If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. But how? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, will you take that chance? Will you visit the Void and bring Lord Robert back to us? Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the right. What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child, to the end of your journey. Destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. This may be a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but do you know what fate awaits you here? Oh, you poor young fool. You have no idea of the suffering to come. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. As you see, this world is a blank slate. It is a place of nothingness. Before Idrisul fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the World Tree. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. As long as the cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. This is your destiny. Accept it, for you cannot change it. Or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches. If you do, you are a fool. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. 
There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. Some people just don't know when to give up. <laughs> Did you think that he chose death out of a sense of despair? You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang, Grand Master of Angrila. Your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? The precise pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the mandala of Yggdrasil. This is the final secret. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. But when the great sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the age of heroes. Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue, I swear it! Would you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, did you see that? I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! Hmm. Yes. Very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage. But it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? Hoo-hoo! For the first time in my long life, she's actually paid me a compliment. Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. Ugh. Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. <sighs> oh my! Is it... is it really you, laddie? Oh, not you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, stop your snivelling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here, then? 
He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. Ah, oh, really? But I only came here to... You went to all that trouble. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on, let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of. Stop right there. Where do you think you are going? I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. <laughs> finished? Oh, but we haven't even begun. Honored Luminary, if you would like to follow me, Grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has the power to send enemies straight to the beyond. It is a technique first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. For you, I have a technique no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ai-Yi, our first Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Well, that can't be a bad thing. Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. If you can master it. None since Erdwin has been able to do so. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless, more excruciating than any you have faced before. Well, do you think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? I knew you would make the right choice. Now, let us begin. The first step is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold out your hand and try. As good as can be expected for a first attempt, the heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. Battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh, no, the poor lad's not ready. Me? Why would I rumple my nice clean robe when I have you to do my dirty work for me? B what? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson? Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. There is no one better suited to the task. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know when you are ready to begin. Before we continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. All in the name of speeding up your training, of course. Oh, 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 I, I've not felt 
held this alive in decades. Let me add a little blighter. That's the spirit. Don't hold back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. Just you watch me. Luminary, prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. The more you use it, the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Here I come, laddie. It's time to show you what this old man can do. Come on then, laddie. Show me your strength. Yes! Wonderful! I couldn't have beaten him more soundly myself. I must say, I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. The power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? You beat me, even with the last secret of angry la in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. 
You weren't too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. <gasps> so this is where you have been hiding. Wait, I know that voice. Mord again. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my clutches by cowering here in this ruined world. You have only delayed the inevitable. No! thought your powers could not reach us here. <laughs> it seems I underestimated you. <sighs> so inconsiderate. <sighs> there was one last thing I wanted to teach you. Fine. It seems we must do it the hard way. <sighs> You two will just have to learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or die trying. What? So the last secret of Angry La wasn't he the last one? And Quadra Slash wasn't either? Of course not, foolish man. There is another. A supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Ayi. One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Combine your powers. Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago. So that I can die happy. You dare to resist me? Do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. We have only one chance. Robert, do not think. Act. Use the technique I taught you. Quickly! Greatest of all the secrets of Anguilla. The technique to end all techniques. Solar Flare! He is back with us. Oh. Oh. But he is greatly weakened. We must get him to the temple right away. Ah. You are finally awake. Good. 
I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He is outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Better late than never, eh? What are you staring at me like that for? Is there something on my face? It is your physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal slighter only a short time ago. <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Uh, the Grand Master put me through worse on more than one occasion. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void, that you met Grand Master Pang, and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor Erdwin. You have my congratulations. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Henry, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Please think nothing of it, my lord. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mortigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pan told me. She said old Erdwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mortigan off his perch. As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there will know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. Honored Luminary, 
We disciples of Anguilla will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.